A southern Indiana sheriff is making a record number of arrests pulling drug dealers off the streets of Scott County. And as WDRB's Katrina Helmer tells us, he plans to keep that momentum going this year, Katrina. He does. Sheriff Jerry Gooden came into office promising to attack the drug problem in Scott County, and the numbers show it's working. The sheriff is not backing down. We are service providers. We're here for the people. That's what we do. Scott County Sheriff Jerry Gooden promised to shake things up, making the community safer by tracking down drug dealers. My folks did exactly what I campaigned on doing, what we said we were going to do. Last year, deputies made a total of 964 arrests. 222 of those were drug related. That's the most criminal arrests for one year in the department's history. The sheriff says what makes this impressive, the team did all of that while being short staffed. We did this short handed. We did this being sometimes up to five deputies short on our schedule. Looking at 2020, he promises the momentum will continue now that he's hired several new deputies. The number of years of experience and the training uh, that we have now here in, at this office is phenomenal. And it gives the department the chance to expand their services, starting with a new senior citizens crew. We're going to offer those senior citizens who may not have someone to check on them on a regular basis to make sure that they're safe and they don't need nothing. They're also going to start designated patrols in every township using reserve officers. And this year, Gooden plans to expand the education services offered to inmates to help stop the revolving door. We're not just throwing them back there and forgetting about them. They're already offering GED classes and training for welding and food handling certifications and adding a chemical addiction program. With all the changes, Gooden says the message stays the same. If you want to raise your kids and you want to be in a safe community, Scott County is the place to be. And along with that message is if you're a criminal and you're looking for a place to live, don't come to Scott County. Because if you come to Scott County, you'll be residing in the county jail. And big this year, they're also working to expand the jail, adding several.